Welcome to the CKA 70 Question Series Part 7. In this video we will cover some persistence volume and persistence volume claim related questions. The next question is, create a new persistent volume named WebPV. It should have a capacity of 2 GB, access mode should be read-write once, and host path is slash vol slash data. Storage class should be manual. After creating the PV next create a new persistent volume claim in the namespace production named WebPVC. It should request 2 GB storage, access mode should be read-write once. The PVC should bound to the PV correctly. After the creation of PV and PVC, finally create a new pod web pod in namespace production which mounts that volume at inside of pod path slash app slash web data. The pod's image should be engine X version 1.14.2, which means the engine X pod should use PVC for mounting the volume to PV. Okay, without further delay, let's go to the cluster. Okay, let's go to the documentation. and search for PV. Please note we have to pick the fourth link in order to solve this question. Let's copy this YAML file and paste into a file. Next we need to modify the YAML file as per the question. Name should be WebPV. Storage capacity should be 2 GB. Access mode should be read-write once. And host path should be slash vol slash data. Yes, our YAML file is ready. Let's apply. Yes, our PV is ready. Next, we need to create a claim in production namespace. So let's create the namespace next. OK namespace is ready. Let's create the PVC next. So go to documentation again and copy PVC YAML file. OK let's modify it as per the question. Name should be WebPVC. and the namespace should be production. And the storage request is 2 GB. OK PVC YAML file is ready, let's apply it. Yes, our PVC is ready and bonded to PV. OK, next we need to create a engine X pod for mounting this claim. So again, go to the documentation and find the pod YAML file. OK, let's edit it. Name should be WebPod. And namespace should be Production.
mount path should be slash app slash web data. Claim name should be WebPVC. And the Engine X image version should be 1.14.2. We don't need to touch anywhere. OK, our YAML file is ready. Let's apply it. Yes, our pod has scheduled. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yes, pod is running. Yes, everything is perfect. Next, we have to check whether our pod is mounted or not. So let's get into the pod. Let's go to the mounted path. You can see now here is no file. I'm going to create file here then see what will happen. If the mounting is perfect then we can see the same file from the mounted path in the node machine. Okay, let's create a file here. Okay, let's exit and go to the PV mounted path. Sorry, volume is mounted in node machine not in control plane, so let's go to the nodes machine. Yes we can see our file here which means our volume mount is working fine. Let's create a file here and check whether it is available in the pod. So I'm creating a file here. Let's exit and go to the pod. Yes file is available in pod. Congratulations we have successfully completed this task. Please note in the exam you don't need to make files inside the pod. I'm just demonstrated here for just confirming the mounting is correct or not. Okay let's go to the next question. Next question is little bit tough question but you can easily tackle it. In the previous question we have created a PV through an existing storage class manual, but in this question we will create a storage class and we will make a persistence volume and claim using this new storage class. Okay, let's go to the question. The question is, create a storage class named cube storage with a provisioner of kubernetes.io slash no dash provisioner and volume binding mode should be immediate. After that we need to create a persistent volume named cube PV with a storage capacity of 50 megabits using the cube storage storage class with read write once permission and host path should be slash vol slash cube data. After creation of storage class and PV we need to make a PVC. Next we need to create a persistent volume claim named cube PVC in the namespace production 
that requests 30 megabits of storage from the cube PV. Finally, we need to create a pod web pod in the namespace production, which mounts that volume at slash app slash web data. The pod's image should be engine X version 1.14.2. Without further delay, let's go to the cluster. First, we need to create a storage class, so let's go to the documentation and search for storage class. Okay, we can take this YAML file as the reference. So just copy it and paste into our YAML file. Storage class name should be cube storage. And the provisioner should be kubernetes.io slash no dash provisioner. And the volume binding mode is immediate. OK, our YAML file is ready. Let's apply it. OK, cube storage class is ready. Next, we need to make persistence volume using this storage class. So again, go to the documentation. Copy this YAML file and paste it into the file. OK name should be cube PV. Storage class name should be cube storage. Capacity is 50 MB. Host path should be slash vol slash cube data. PV YAML file is ready. Let's apply it. Yes, persistence volume is ready and it is using our cube storage storage class. Perfect. Next we need to create the claim. So again take the help of documentation and copy this YAML file. PVC name should be cube PVC. and the namespace should be production. Storage class should be cube storage, and the storage request should be for 30 MB. Perfect, our YAML file is ready. Let's apply it. Oh, production namespace is not created yet, so let's create it. OK, let's apply it again.
Yes PVC is created and mounted with our cube PV. Okay, now we have completed three tasks, one more task is remaining. Okay, let's create a pod. Pod name should be web pod, and the name space should be production. And the image should be engine X version 1.14.2. And mount path should be slash app slash web data. And volume claim name should be cube PVC. Okay, let's apply it. Yes, our pod is up and running. Let's confirm whether the mounting is correct or not. Okay, let's create a file here. Let's exit and check the same in the node. Yes, our file is there, so our mounting is success. Okay, we have successfully completed this task. We will cover some more scenarios on upcoming parts. Thank you. Stay tuned.